If someone came to you and asked which path they should follow, the path of intuition or spirituality, what would you tell them? Well, it's a depends answer. There's no one size fits all. Uh, it's really looking at who that person is and what they need and what's going to take them the furthest to get them the closest to where they want to go. It's easy to dismiss intuition as a path that gets you lost and takes you away from the spiritual path. And it's true. Some people get caught up in the you know, the wildness of it and they can get lost or they can blow out their ego or they can cross dimensional states and scare the bejesus out of themselves. There's all kinds of stuff that can happen on the intuition, intuition path. That said, if you follow the spiritual path, you will have intuitive experiences. You can't spend that much time in that kind of meditative state where you aren't going to cross dimensions, where you aren't going to have visions, where you're not going to have uh, hear uh, other beings speaking to you. Th that's all part of the spiritual path as well. The thing with the spiritual path is the recommendation that you not get caught up in any of that, that that's not what's important. That's what's important is you are seeking awakening. You are seeking enlightenment. Um, and anything but that can take you away from that. And in that sense, intuition can be a distractor. But I don't see intuition as bad or wrong or, you know, you know, you should stay away from it. I think if you have a natural inclination toward intuition, it's worth developing. Um, it can enrich your life in many ways and it can help you develop your spirituality as well. Um, but it won't be f long before, even with intuition, it's going to push you toward a spiritual path because in the end, all roads lead to God.